Okay, we're back and we're gonna build our first pipeline in Mage. This is exciting stuff. When we when we open up Mage for the first time, we're gonna see this um, overview page. Uh, to, to start building our pipeline, we can click new pipeline on the top here, but we're actually gonna go to the pipelines page in the sidebar, which will give us an overview of all of the pipelines that we have. So we talked about um, what Mage is and how Mage works. This is our Mage project called Magic Zoom Camp. And within that project, we have pipelines. So there's an example pipeline um, just to show you how stuff works, we're going to open this up. Um, and you can see right here, we're doing something really basic. We're reading from an API, filling in some values, and then exporting it to a local data frame in our tree view. So if we click Edit Pipeline in the sidebar. Um, we're presented with uh, this pipeline view. So we can see a file tree. This is actually just all the files in our project. Um, so you could, if, you're, if you're looking at this in VS Code or in the terminal, you'll see all the same files. Um, we can also switch over to the current blocks, which will show us um, exactly the blocks that we're using. But we'll close that for now. And so we have a data loader here. You can see we're reading data from this Titanic data set. If we click Run in the top right, um, we'll see that the data is being read into a CSV, um, and then we're checking to make sure that the data frame is not none. So we have our data here, very simple. Um, again, I'm not going to focus too much on the content here, just how things work. Um, so we're going to move over to our next block, which is a transformer. You can see we're going to uh, limit the number of columns we're selecting, um, and then we're going to fill in some missing values with, uh, with a median value. Um, and if we click Run again, uh, you can see that we're doing almost exactly the same thing. And the, the key here is that these two blocks in our tree, um, we can reset the zoom here, they're linked by the fact that there's this line in between those blocks. Um, and so that this, this connection means that the data frame input of the second block is going to be the data frame output of the first block. So this might not be intuitive, it might work a little bit different in other orchestrators, but it's important to note that when two blocks are connected, that just means data frames that are returned are going to be passed between the two. Um, so if we go down to our third block here, export Titanic clean and run this, um, this is actually going to export our data to a file. Um, and so that'll be in our directory. Uh, so we see that that completed successfully there. Again, we're just taking the input data frame and then performing this action. So one other thing to call out, if you ever want to just run all of the, um, the files in a pipeline, you can just scroll down to the last block, click this three dot um, icon, and then execute with all upstream blocks. Uh, and what's going to happen is that everything's going to run in sequence. So clicking that just ran the entire pipeline. And so that's our example pipeline. We're going to build something similar, a little different, um, because we're going to use a Postgres destination. Um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, but this was a very simple intro.